You guys, what's going on? Randy Mooper here, and welcome back to another special effects video. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing a scary clown kind of look. Bear with me with my voice, guys. I'm coming down, well, I'm down with the flu. Um, so let's just get through this. I'll go through what we need while we're going through it because we need a lot of stuff latex, blood, 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 cotton wool, brushes, ball cap is the first thing you mainly need. Uh, some baby powder, face paint, fake teeth, okay? To watch how to make them fake teeth guys, go on to the video before this, it's called how to make fake teeth. And yeah, you're ready to go. Let's do this. Before we start guys, I would just like to say, can you give this video a thumbs up for all the support. Also hit that subscribe button for a lot more special effects, Minecraft, drop the ball cap and a lot more other videos. Stay tuned. Mwah. First things first guys, is you're going to put the ball cap on your head. I'm not too sure whether there's a certain way to put this on. Always wondered what I'd look like if I was bald. Okay, to make sure you can hear things, guys, you're gonna get your scissors and cut out around your ear. Make sure you do not cut your ear off. Oh yeah, before you even put your latex on, get your Vaseline, nice good bit of it. Cover your eyebrows and also the edge of your hair there, so that. You know, you're not gonna rip your hair out either. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing before you put on the latex. Put on some old clothes, guys, because if you get latex on your clothes that you want, you will not get it off. No matter how much you try, you will not get latex off your clothes. So make sure you got old clothes on. Get your ball cap in place. Ha, oh, you're gonna find a brush that you're not gonna miss and get out your latex. Dip it in. Be careful off your eyes, or if you're doing it for someone else, be careful off their eyes and go around the edge of your ball cap with latex or skin adhesive so that it sticks into place. It's okay if you go on top of the ball cap or come down to your skin, it's totally fine. Just zoom in to my head there guys. As you can see I'm just going around the outside of the cap so once that is on there you're gonna leave that dry for a while quick tip guys if you want latex to dry a little bit quicker get a hair dryer cotton bud cotton pad whatever you want to call these and latex you're gonna get somewhere where you can put the latex in I'm just gonna use something like this get your latex you don't want loads okay actually you want like that much just so that it's kind of swimming in there I don't really want to tip it tip it over to show you guys because it will fall it's very runny okay like that get your cotton bud and swim it in with the latex and you're gonna place this about by here spread it all out a bit and shape in your eyebrows you know you're gonna let it dry halfway once it's dry halfway guys you're then gonna shape it so just put it on normally like this for a moment and then once it's dry well half dry then we're gonna shape it so i'm gonna get onto this one and i'll be right back okay guys so once both your eyebrows are applied they don't have to be the exact same width as long as they're around the same place it's totally fine Okay guys, I'm gonna come a bit closer here a minute. So once you have got them half dry, you're then gonna shape them in an angry look. You're gonna get a lot of cotton wool. Guys, you're gonna put them up on top of your eyebrow, shape it in, if you get what I mean. And then it makes it a lot thicker. Okay, so what I like to think of the eyebrows is that he's going like, huh? Like, you know, he's asking like, what? Once you've done literally like two layers of that, you're going to put one in the middle here. Shape it in to your eyebrow. Okay, so you're then going to want to get another bit of cotton wool and cut it in half. You're going to split it in half like that. Cover your first bit 
and latex right here where it goes in as well you should already have the shape you're gonna just put that up in there and as long as you keep the shape of your eyebrow that's totally perfect okay guys so the next bit you're gonna basically be shaping your face okay so you're gonna shape your face with the latex and the cotton wool there is no right or wrong guys if you do it right if you do it wrong you know I'm not gonna tell you if you're doing it right or wrong because it's all about shaping the face the way you want watch your eyes please okay guys so once the sculpting off the face is done you're then gonna make the smile so you're gonna get cotton and you're gonna put it in saying that we're gonna use toilet roll okay you're gonna roll it into long thin pieces like that cut it in half and join your smile up Okay, like so, not sure how good you can see that there. Okay guys, so your next step is to paint your whole entire head, face, latex, everywhere around your face, white. So, okay guys, once you have painted your, white, your face white and your head, cover yourself with baby powder so that, as you can see it's all over me, so that it sets. Get your teeth that you've made and we're gonna stick these into place. This will go like that. Okay, so you're gonna get your latex. Place it on. Okay, once the top one is done, you're then gonna do the bottom one. It's not 100% stuck yet, so that's why I'm not really moving my mouth too much. You're gonna get the bottom one, cover the bottom bit with latex, as you can see it looks pretty creepy. Get a red and colour in there, the red like that okay on the black bit you're gonna get some black all bit in there also do the outline just so that it gives it a little bit more depth in the outline and the blobs looks as though it's all dried up in there so that's the mouth Okay guys, so next thing you're going to want to do is the eye. This does not have to be perfect because it's going to go with an outline of red anyway, of the blood. So you're just going to do black, 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 black. This black goes all the way up to the eyebrow there. Just to give it like a diamond kind of shape. Then colour it in blue. Okay guys, that's what I mean by the blood. You're just going to put it on an outline, just dab it around like so. Okay guys, so for the nose, like normally they would have like red noses. What I've done is that I put a layer of uh, tissue paper there around the nose and then wait for it to dry and then pull it up. So what I'm gonna do now, instead of having a red nose, well it is gonna be red, but it's gonna be blood red. Okay like this you 
you have gums, you have blood. And your teeth. Like so. Okay. So for the hair, I just cut a little bit off a wig. I'm going to get some liquid latex, lay it on there, and then stick it on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the hair on. Now what you're gonna do is literally just get creative with this blood. Nice brush like this. Get it on there. And get it on your face. Don't be afraid of the blood. Should you get it on your head? Enjoy the blood, trust me. Okay guys, this is how to make the killer clown lock with the hair, the eyes, this eye I've just changed to complete blood, but yeah, I hope you like, bye. Okay guys, this is the finish complete, uh, the product complete, as you can see I've got a contact in as well, on one eye, the mouth has a nice smile there, the hair. Why not, why not, be, you can't beat them, you might as well join them, hey? I'm now a killer clown. Let's go kill, I'm joking, I'm not gonna go kill, I'm gonna take this straight off. If I can, that's the thing, if I can. You can't see any emotion in my face, it's actually quite freaky. I'm kinda like freaking myself out. The fact that you can't even see any emotion in my face whatsoever. I'm in love with this. I really don't want to take it off. Look at my eye. It hurts so bad. But I'm kind of getting used to it now, but my eye. Let's go. Kill a clown with a spoon. Let's go. I'm a kill a clown with a spoon. <laughs>